Yeezys are back in the drop calendar just like they never left. And the pair that we're taking a look at today is actually a little bit of a surprise. Okay, here we have the box. Uh, this is the one thing that just never really gets surprising about Yeezy boxes. They are all pretty much the same. We got the 350 on the front, the boost on the side. Now, if you didn't catch yesterday's video, essentially I unboxed these things for the first time. When I opened the package, I really was met with a shock, a, uh, a shocking smell. This box kind of smells like, smells a bit weird in here. <laughs> These things smell like a, a, a green plant people use to, to get high. These things stink and I have no idea why. It is very strange. Now, because I bought this from GOAT, I expect anybody who actually gets these from Adidas is not gonna smell like that. Either way, let me slide these things open and uh, try not to breathe in too much because these are strong. <laughs> but we have today's sneaker, the Yeezy 350 Dark Beluga. We have them guys, the Dark Belugas, a pair that was supposed to release last year and I don't need to get into all of the details, we all know by now. So Adidas just opened up a raffle on the confirmed app for this pair of sneakers and the 350 Onyx. Both of these released today on May the 31st, so depending on what time you're watching this video, you either know whether you've won or you might even still be waiting. And also, if you're on the US, today is the big Yeezy Day 2023, where Adidas is going to be dropping a bunch of different sneakers. And here in the EU, in the UK, that's all happening tomorrow on June the 1st. We should all have an opportunity to grab plenty of different sneaker models, not just this one. And also, if you're out in the US, let us all know how Yeezy Day 2023 went for you. Did you manage to get a bunch of pairs? How did Adidas drop all of them? Uh, let, let us get ready. Give us the advantage getting ready for tomorrow. Now, retail on this pair is unchanged, so it's still £200 here in the UK or $230 if you're out in the US. Even though 15% of that goes to Kanye West and an undisclosed amount goes to charity, according to to Adidas. So I was kind of half expecting Adidas to pull a quick one and raise the retail price a little bit to cover some of those losses. But yeah, luckily they kept the prices the same. Okay, so what really surprised me about this pair of sneakers was the smell, yes, but apart from that was the colorway. Now online, even through the official images, the early leaks, the on-foot shots that we've seen all before the release of this pair was all kind of a very dark gray, almost black looking sneaker. However, when you get this pair in hand, you'll realize it's not so much of a dark gray or black color, it's really just a very dark green. Literally, when you compare the original Belugas to this dark Beluga colorway, you can really tell that they've literally just just flipped the colors. So this is all of the lighter grays that are on top and this one's all of the darker grays that are on top. Obviously, except for the orange stripe that still exists and is pretty much identical from one to the other. And of course, in that neon orange stripe that moves across the side, you still get that SPLY 350 text. You know what, something about this really bright stripe, I prefer a lot more on the darker color of this shoe. I just think that the dark colors contrast with this orange stripe super nicely. I also think these darker colors make this beluga sneaker a lot easier to style and throw together outfits. Like, I was super excited to be able to get this pair of belugas when they dropped the reflective version because it was the first time that I'd ever had this colorway. Obviously, it's a very iconic colorway from 2016. It's one of the OGs when it comes to 350s. What I found through owning this pair of shoes is that I never really ended up wearing it as much as I imagined to. It's definitely something about this colorway that is slightly harder to style and put outfits together with. Now, obviously, I still think these are fine. 
fine, the colorway is great, but I did find myself opting for other colorways of the 350 over this quite a few times. And I seriously think this dark beluga is going to be a lot more wearable. Even just since I've had these things in, I've tried out a few different outfits and I just find them to match a lot better and just look a lot nicer on foot. I found them, generally speaking, just easier to style. Obviously, this OG iconic colorway of the 350 is always going to have a place in my heart and I'm never getting rid of this pair of shoes, but I've got to be honest, I'm really feeling the darker tones from this pair. I also think comparatively speaking, there's something about having all of the darker knits surrounding this orange stripe. It highlights the stripe a lot more than it does on this one. Now it's obviously still the same color. It's still freaking neon orange, so it's very noticeable on both pairs. But there is something about this one that definitely highlights it, makes it a lot more visible. Obviously, both of these sneakers are very, very similar. So obviously, I think people who have the Belugas already might find it a little bit tougher to want to actually buy this pair of shoes because they are so similar. Not to mention the fact that this is the fourth iteration of the Beluga colorway. There was the original, the 2.0, the reflective, and now the dark Beluga. So anybody who owns any of those different variations, there's definitely a lot more people who own one of those different iterations and might want to pass up on this one. I can say for certain, these things did sell out on the Adidas app, so uh, they're all gone. People obviously wanted to get their hands on them, and I'm not entirely sure what they're going to end up reselling at. And as far as the Yeezy 350 goes, in terms of practicality, well, honestly, I think that the Yeezy 350 is always going to be part of my rotation in some capacity. Like even if I don't wear 350s as much as I used to, they're still an incredibly practical, comfortable, and easy to throw on pair of shoes. And I still rock mine on a regular basis. And now that it's summertime and I'm wearing shorts like 90% of the time, I think this is a great pair of shoes to have. They look great with a pair of shorts and they're just easy to slip on and go. Now as for sizing on this pair of shoes, well, it is definitely tight. So it's a very similar thing to the Belugas when we had this restart basically any of these kind of OG 2016 knit style 350s are a lot tighter than some of the more recent releases where you have a thinner, slightly stretchier knit. So kind of the general rule of thumb for almost any 350 with the SPLY stripe that's on the side, I would go up at least a half a size and some people even go a full size up. For me personally, I went with my true to size on this specific pair and it is definitely tight. Like I'm definitely gonna need a half size up to be comfortable. And the tightness is mainly around in the toe box. That's where you feel your toes really constricting because it kind of tapers off and narrows towards the top. Yeah, I like this colorway a lot more than I thought I would. I'm definitely going to be chucking this into the rotation once I let it air out a little bit because uh, these things are strong. But guys, Yeezy season is officially here. There is a bunch happening, a bunch of different sneaker models releasing. So hopefully you manage to grab whatever you're trying to grab. And I'll keep you guys updated on all the future Yeezys that are going to be dropping around the corner. But I want to know from you guys, what do you think of the dark beluga? Did you manage to get these things? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section, but that about wraps it up. Now, if you want to get a full rundown on the 10 most hype sneakers that are going to be dropping in June, that video's right over there.